Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray. Welcome to the channel, The Modern Creative, where we help you become a better producer. And today we're taking a look at Multiband X6 by Devious Machines. I want to know if this is better than the Fab Filter alternative. So let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, so this plugin claims to be able to get a great sound without necessarily going into the advanced controls. We'll see about that. Let me press play here. All right, so out of the gate, I've got a pretty basic sound, and this knob here in the center is basically going to adjust compression levels for the entire signal. So all four bands are going to be affected. Now, of course, we have to adjust the threshold. This thing has an auto threshold and an auto leveler, so stay tuned until the end for that. But let's go ahead and compress and adjust the threshold. Here we go. Okay, safe to say that this is definitely a color machine. If you want something different other than just the usual suspects like EQ or saturators, this is definitely a nice option. Not sure if you heard how colorful and how round it actually got, but that was absolutely impressive. I love the way it looks. I definitely think it looks better than any of the other options in the marketplace. It shows you a bar that signifies the signal and you're supposed to obviously touch that signal. So it's really easy to kind of start working on stuff right away. So you'll notice there's a couple different algorithms down here. We've got punch, smooth, crunch, and then expand mode. I think all of these sound fantastic. Let me go ahead and jump into crunch mode and let's start to test the individual bands. For example, if I know for a fact that I wanted a thicker, gnarlier sound, then I would go straight to the first band and I would start to compress and obviously touch the signal. This time we're going to use the auto threshold. Here we go. All right, so this is before. And here's after. So it's doing a great job and it's doing it in the most transparent way possible. I'm using the crunch algorithm. Maybe I have to go a little bit harder to get that nasty dirt. But for now, pay attention to this. I can go into different edit modes within each band. I love that. And then the best part, like I said, at the very end of the process, you can take all of the levels and compress further or adjust the gain further you gotta love that so probably the easiest way to use this is to first just choose a preset so let me go to extreme just for kicks we'll choose hardcore and then from there let's go ahead and listen to what they're doing well you can see that the compression level is super high so that's a giveaway but uh, i need to set the threshold according to my signal so again auto threshold let's go Okay, so it got very loud, and so we're going to make up for that with the auto leveler right down here. Ready? Very intelligent plugin, very intelligent workflow. I love that we have the capability of turning down the mix level, so maybe you like the aggressiveness, but you just want to back up some. Check it out. So I'll just take you through a basic workflow. Go ahead and choose some kind of preset. Let's go ahead and go to saturated club. From there, go to auto threshold. Play back the signal. Okay, then you're going to want to play with attack and release. How quickly is it going to compress the signal? And then when it compresses, how quickly is it going to let go to its originally uncompressed state. So let's play with that. Okay, 
So that right there is a shocker, right? Here's before. Very thin. Let's bring it in. So thus far the claim is true. You don't even have to get into the advanced controls yet. Sounds absolutely stunning. Then the last step in the process is to just click the auto leveler. Here we go. If you wanted to make adjustments to the individual bands, again, you can isolate them. You can solo the bands here. Really easy to work with. I'm very clear about what action I'm taking. That is one of the problems with multi-band compressors in general. There's just so many different ideas within one interface. You've got range, you've got compression. There's a lot of things to think about here. I'm not necessarily concerned. If you did want to go to the advanced settings, of course, we can hit mid side. You can have this linked so both channels are being compressed at the same time, or we can have them unlinked and then hence the left and the right will be compressed in their own respective manner. You've got sidechain capability, awesome. We could use this as a multi-band compressor or just a standard wideband compressor like you would normally use. So yeah, this thing is certainly looking like a contender. If I wanted to really maximize like the mid-range or the upper mid-range, you would grab the triangle or the knob here and increase the compression level. Now, because we're really starting to clamp down on those upper mid ranges, I'm going to increase the gain. Now, I just want to do it for this specific band, so I'll lift up that blue triangle. Here we go. If you wanted to compress even further and get a more aggressive sound, you would click on high right here and this would set the ratio to 20 to 1. Here we go. Let's listen to all three algorithms. Here we go. Yeah, they each have their own flavor. I definitely heard more transients within the punch algorithm. Now, I'm curious to hear this on a master, so let me pull up a session here. All right, so I'll take you through the workflow one more time. Select a preset. I'm gonna go with the gentle master enhancer. I'll click on auto threshold, here we go. All right, beautiful. From there, you can select your algorithm, play with the attack and release. With that release knob, you can really hear the guitars affected when we have a slow release. Check it out. I'm gonna back off this release knob you'll start to hear those guitars come out forward. Loving the punch algorithm, let me switch this up to smooth. All right, let me hit the auto leveler, the wand icon. That way, when I bypass, I can really see what's happening here. All right, now for the true test, we're just gonna bypass back and forth. This is definitely going to complete the production. 
it's going to be that final step in the process where you're just getting everything to gel and come together multi-band x6 definitely next level let me know what you think about this in the comments thank you guys for supporting the modern creator for this long I'm super thankful and grateful for this opportunity so if you're looking for a multi-band compressor that is not necessarily going to you know make your brain explode go ahead and check out devious machines they've got a lot of great plugins tell them that eddie gray sent you and i don't know maybe they'll give you a discount or something but thank you guys so much i'm gonna get out of here more content coming soon stay up bye